Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to express yourself to a man. How to express yourself to a man. Really quickly, these are my uh, weekend videos I shoot on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery, where it's an inexpensive membership program to have direct access to me on a regular basis. So if you're interested, check out the link below to my VIP group. All right, let's talk about how to express yourself to a man. Now, before I'm gonna go there, I wanna share a story that actually came from the group. And one of our members wrote something that triggered me. And I think it'd be, there's a valuable share here. So she said, why don't men have the balls? Or she was expressing her frustration around men. And she quotes, don't have the balls to let a woman know that the relationship is over and he wastes her time. And that triggered me on so many different levels. And let me share why. Partially because I've been that guy. I've been that guy. And I've been that guy on so many, I feel like it's happened a lot. Um, it hasn't happened hundreds of times. I mean, it's happened a few times. And why it triggered me is because the challenge I had for myself was to be able to express myself. I, I, I was afraid not only to express myself, but I was also afraid of what the reaction would be if I expressed myself. So fear was the cause. So when she said I didn't have the balls, that triggered me as making me out to be weak. So then I went on to a diatribe in the, in the chat saying, well, why do women fear expressing themselves to a man? Why do women? And this is one of the constant issues I hear frequently uh, in the dating, mating, and relating realm is women are afraid to express themselves to a man. They're afraid because of the fear of what's going to happen. So let's lean into that. That's simply a fear, and it's a very honest fear to feel that way. So what do you think it's like being in a relationship where you can't express yourself to someone? That's, that's got to be... That's got to be painful to be in that. And being it today is Valentine's Day, let's lean into love. <laughs> let's lean into love, okay? I've got my Valentine's Day plaque out here for today. Obviously, I have my self-love club shirt. Uh, by the way, you can get this on Amazon. Check out the link where Jonathan recommends. I think you can be able to click there to get to Amazon from my recommend page. Um, so in honor of Valentine's Day, but what I'm leaning into is we're... We, it's very human to feel fear. So let's not judge the fear like men don't have balls and, and you're a weak person because it's very natural to have fears in expressing oneself. This is why I'm a big proponent of like what my t-shirt says, self-love. Uh, my, my coffee cup today says, love yourself, love yourself. And this is why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? It's, it's designed to shift from that space of being afraid in life and beginning a personal development, self-help, and spiritual journey on a regular basis to break free from those old patterns of being afraid. Because it's, so there's basically two functions going on. When, um, when it comes to expressing yourself in relationship. One is the fear of what's going to happen. And also, what words do you use to express yourself? That's where a lot of the frustration lies. Now, I want to share another story uh, before I give you a technique to help you in this. I, I want all of you ladies to know that my and my friend will kill me for saying this, but one of my dearest friends was in a relationship with a woman, and, and he well, for lack of a better word, might be emotionally stifled from the perspective of expressing himself. He might be stifled a bit, not, not buried in the ground, but just struggled with it. And the woman he was in relationship constantly expressed her feelings to him. And I say constantly. And it didn't scare him away. He didn't run away because he cared for her. When a man cares for you, he's not going to run away when you express your feelings. And she just kept expressing her feelings to him. Now, what happened was by leading by example, he was able to go from this stifled space to start moving up on the ladder. Now, I will tell you there was tension between them because she had these expectations. She had expectations to be here. And he started here and him just even moving up this much 
was a big deal. So there was a lot of frustration on her part, but that was that was her own doing. He was rising up the ladder because she was leading by example. And this is why I'm such a big proponent, going back to my book, chapter one, speak your truth, do it with kindness. Speak your truth, do it with kindness. And later on in the book, and I say this in most of my videos, is it's sincere and from the heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. And with him, he wasn't going to run away. So first, ladies, let's establish that it is absolutely okay to express your feelings to a man. It's absolutely okay. Now, what you don't want to do is vomit your feelings. I mean, literally, just vomit everything that's going on and really check in with your heart. Remember I said earlier, if it's sincere and from the heart. So first, identify what feeling are you having here. Anger, sadness, depression, anxiety. Identify the feeling first. Identify the feeling first. And, if you, and then next, learn how to express it in a whole new way, coming from not pointing the finger at him of whatever you're feeling, but looking at these three fingers pointing back and going, what am I feeling? And just express the feeling. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety in this relationship because you seem kind of quiet. And I just want to, you know, I just want to share this with you. This creates an opportunity for dialogue. And ladies, I have to tell you, so many women are in a relationship where the two of you aren't really communicating from a heart-centered place. This is why I highly recommend the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg and why this is so critically important. It should have been titled Compassionate Communication because it teaches you how to express in a way that's framed in a healthy way. Now, I want to go back and address this fear because if we don't address the fear of speaking up to your guy, yes, learning the techniques is great and this is hugely important because this will help you break through the fear. But I want you to begin a new, again, with the self-love practice, but look at we're all human. We're riddled with, I don't even like to use the word flaws, but negative patterns, limiting beliefs, anxieties and fear in our life. In fact, the number one emotional health issue facing everybody is I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm not likable. In fact, I created my podcast, the What Would Love Do podcast, by the way, the link's there below. I created that to explore how to break free into what would love do, being part of the self-love club. And this is why I highly recommend the book by Brene Brown, The Gifts of Imperfection, and the subtitle, Let Go of Who You Think You're Supposed to Be and Embrace Who You Are. Ladies, whether you're in relationship or not, the most important relationship you have, by the way, when I say ladies, Human beings, let me just say, men and women alike, the most important relationship you have is with yourself. That's the most important relationship you'll ever have in your life. And the qual I like what um, Esther Perel says, the quality of your relationships dictate the quality of your life. So a fantastic relationship with yourself, being part of the self-love club, is gonna help you break free and be able to express yourself to anybody. Now, many of you know, I lost my 19-year-old son, Connor, um, and that's what broke me open in a way I can't even imagine, and it's one of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? And why I share this with you is I actually did a lot of work prior to him passing away, which includes the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process, and this is an inner child workshop to heal that that those negative patterns, those limiting beliefs, those wounds that happened in childhood and allowed me to dig deeper. And that's my encouragement for you all today. And I will tell you what happened during this experience. This is so cool. It was the second to the last night. We actually had a, a birthday celebration. And I can't give you the hints of what it is because if you do it, but coincidentally, it happened to be my birthday. And, <laughs> and I got to reach into a bag and grab a gift. Everybody got to get, get a gift. And the gift I got, and I was there on my birthday, was this little lion teddy bear, this little lion teddy bear. And, and 
I'm a Leo, so how appropriate. I mean, I'm telling you, it was divine intervention that allowed me to receive this. And why I share this with you is that this is a reminder of self-love for me, just one of the many reminders of self-love. And so, as my t-shirt says, my encouragement for everyone to be able to learn how to express yourself to a man is learn how to express within oneself. Breathe that in. And the more we get to get better within ourselves, the better we become, the better we become, the better we become, the easier it is to express ourselves to another human being. And if you're in relationship with a man, this, you know, this practice, do this inner work first and then learn the techniques from the book, Nonviolent Communication. And I promise you, you're going to see a shift. You know, for many of you know, I talk about uh, emotionally um, mature men or emotional grown-ups. And I talk about how to identify emotional grown-ups. That's what I do in my private coaching practice, is helping you identify those men that, like my friend, that can lean into and break free from being that emotional stifled place to actually a place to be able to open up with you as well. And I'm here to say, it may require leading by example like his girlfriend did, and at the end result is you might find that he meets you where you're at. And if you need some support on that, check out the link to a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right, I hope you got value from this video. If you have, please post a comment below. If you'd like to add anything, please post it below. I do my best to read everything. And again, if you find value in my channel, please share this with your friends. Check out my book, Midlife Love Mastery. I'm selling everything right now because it's Valentine's Day and I want everyone to experience love. All right. We're going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a pillow or even a teddy, a stuffed animal and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. <laughs>